guys, welcome back to HGTV Handmade with me, Marian. So if there's one thing you guys are asking for time and time again, it's inexpensive ways to decorate your room. You guys are all about artwork on a budget and I hear you, art is so expensive. And don't get me wrong, if you're an artist out there making original artwork, it is worth every penny, but yo, I'm broke. So today, I have some big impact art ideas for you guys that all use thrifted items. All of these come in at under 10 bucks. And I mean, you can't beat that for a big piece of art. The first one, oh yeah, we're tackling this. Ooh. So here is a hot tip. Thrift stores are a great place to pick up canvases. Now, no offense to the artist of this amazing poppy print, but I spent $8 on this canvas purely to cover it up. A canvas this size can run you up to $25. So eight bucks, not too shabby. We're gonna start by painting this and then the real magic happens. So as you can see, the poppies are still showing through a little bit, but I think this is covered well enough to move on to our next step. Well, I need to let this dry for a minute, so. Okay, so our canvas has dried completely. Now it's time to make the art magic happen with this. So this is a scarf that I already had, and when I bought it, I just thought it was so pretty, but it turns out I don't really love it on me. This one's actually so big that I'm gonna cut it in half and save the other half for when I find my next thrift store canvas. Now you can see why I painted it white, right? This is a really light colored scarf and those poppies would have shown right through. Now it's time to staple it. So for this step, you're going to want a staple gun. These are pretty inexpensive or you may already have one out in your garage or toolbox. So to do this, we're going to flip our artwork over. And do this carefully to make sure that you keep the image centered up exactly how you want it. Okay, so if you've never wrapped a canvas before, it's super easy as long as you do it in the right order. You know, your instinct may be to just chink, 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 chink and start stapling across the top. But if you do that, you run the risk of your fabric being wrinkled or pulling too much in one area. So here's how you do it. Place a staple in the top center. Now go down to the opposite side. Gently pull your fabric so it's taut, but you don't want to pull so much that you put stress on that top staple. Now we're going to do one in the middle of each side. Flip it over, check your work, make sure everything's lined up the way you want it before you commit and get about 30 staples in. So space your staples about an inch apart. We're going to put one on each side of our existing staples. So now we're just gonna keep doing that, alternating sides all the way around. Okay, once you get to this point where your scarf is secured to the canvas, it's time to finish these corners. fold it over and you can see it just gives it a really nice finished corner. piece of thrift store art. Scarf I don't wear anymore. I am like super feeling this. But this is just the first of our thrift store art projects. So let's get started on number two. Okay, time for thrifted art project number two. I picked up this little botanical print at a thrift store. It's not fine art. It came actually from a big box store, but it was super cheap. I think it was about six or seven bucks. So I'm gonna show you how to dress up a piece of framed 
thrifted art with some rope. Now, rope trend art and mirrors are a really big trend right now, and the price kind of matches that trend. So this is a great way to really elevate an inexpensive piece of artwork, or it would work great on a mirror as well. To do this, you just want to grab a hot glue gun, and working in sections, just start attaching your rope. Kind of gave myself a little bit right here so I could trim that. Now these coils of rope run about $10 at the hardware store, but one coil of rope can do multiple projects. Okay, so when you get to the end of your rope, <laughs> no, seriously, when you've covered all of the frame except the end, cut the end and hot glue it in place. And you really kind of want to carefully use your fingers to press that into place so it looks nice and finished. And there you go pretty cheap piece of art that we have totally updated with some rope. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think this looks, this looks pretty sweet. Oh, but wait, I've got one more thrifted art idea for you. So, if you weren't into the scarf and you're not feeling the rope, hold that thought. A baskets. I know, you might be thinking, those are baskets, not art. But guys, trust me, if you group these on the wall, it looks so chic, so high-end, basically like you could be a designer for HGTV. You don't believe me? Well, I'm gonna show you. Come on, we're going on a field trip. All right, so when you're looking for baskets at a thrift store for a wall art installation like this, you wanna consider lots of different shapes, sizes. I like to have some square, some rectangle, some round. You know, little handle element adds nice definition, and if you can get some color variety, that's great too. I also love using multiple textures. And then, just kind of start placing them on the wall. You have two options for hanging them. You can use a small finishing nail, because you can nail right into these and not damage them, or you could use some adhesive strips. Now, because these are so lightweight, you don't really have to worry about finding a stud or anything like that. But again, if you don't want to use a nail, just grab some adhesive strips and they won't do any damage to your walls either. Well guys, what do you think? Three thrift store art projects. All of them look amazing in my humble opinion, but my opinion means nothing. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you dug any of these art projects, if you have any big plans to decorate your room this year, I want to hear all about it. Also, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I mean, you could be missing out on all of this. I'll see you guys next time. I know what you're thinking. Marianne, this is still not exactly art. Well, I'm going to show you. <laughs> I just keep running out of words in the middle of a sentence. It's a problem. They're really handy for lots of things, like upholstery or wrapping a canvas. We can just cut that part because that was awkward. Well guys, there you have it. Three beautiful pieces of art, all from the thrift store. That's all. <laughs> the end.